This week, the girls and I are in New York City to rehearse for a Joffrey Ballet audition. Come on, ladies, let's go! For these little girls, this is a chance of a lifetime. I don't want to see any of them blow it. Pick out something from one of your solos, something that is amazing that you do better than anybody else does. I don't think that you understand quite how important this is. I mean, you cannot go in there and look like a slacker. I think just walking into the Joffrey School is going to be tough on these kids. They are not little Trinas. They don't take ballet class every single day, all day long. So I think it's going to be intimidating. I think they're going to be a nervous wreck. And I just hope their mothers keep their mouths closed. You're going in front of people that have had great careers. You don't want to walk in there and be the big joke that they're going to laugh at when they go home tonight. And you can't do a crash course on this. Two years. 20,000 dancers every year audition for Joffrey's summer program. This is a big time. It's intense. Girls, remember, you're not just representing yourself. You're representing the Ivy League Dance Company. Oh, my God. Chloe's warming up in the hall, and then I hear, Girls, 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 girls. Oh, Kathy has arrived. Hi. How are you guys? Good, how are you? Good. Hi, ladies. Candy apples need to get a life and quit following the Abby Lee Dance Company around. Leave with the chest down and up. Girls, if you don't know it yet, you're never going to know it. Stop voicing your opinion, because it doesn't matter here. I like the piece Abby put together for my audition because it has some of my good tricks and everything. Brooke, make it look easy, because that's what's impressive about you. All judges have different opinions, so they may hate tricks or they may love tricks, so I have no clue how this piece is going to go over. Not a fan of tricks. Holly, are you nervous? Are you pacing? Pacing, I'm very nervous. That's what I used to do. I used to throw up in a bucket outside. You got a bucket? I think I did pretty well. I hope I get the scholarship. You jumped, you flipped, you twirled uh, a lot. But you got to tell whoever told you to shake your bum bum like that that they are a dum dum. Hey, Abby taught me how to shake my bum bum, and I shake it pretty well. What did he say? He said, whoever taught you to shake your bum bum is a dum dum. Ah! That's your mother. Uh uh. Yahoo! No! no, 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 no. <laughs> Really think you need that much makeup in a ballet audition? It's a little over the top. All right, go get him. Good luck, Kendall. Good luck, Kendall. I think Kendall is a beautiful little dancer, and I really hope that she can come out on top and get this scholarship. I very much enjoyed the arms in the beginning of the dance. That was lovely. Very nice. This is like your forte. You're good at ballet. You look like a ballerina. You have a beautiful body. I think Abby is putting a lot of pressure on Chloe and Maddie this week, and it's almost like the whole Maddie Chloe showdown once again. Go in there and own it. OK. OK. I'm very excited for the ballet audition. I mean, I've never done something this big before in my entire dance life. So it's every man for himself. You got something for us? Mm -hmm. Yes? All right. Take the floor. Your natural, just God-given ability is fantastic. It's wonderful. 
You really have something special. Just please get into more ballet classes. Would you go out there and send in number 252, Maddie? Yep. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. They told me that they think that I need more ballet classes, which makes me a little bit nervous, thinking that maybe like I don't have enough training for the Joffrey Ballet School. I mean, you never know what the three judges could be thinking, like, oh, we want her, we don't want her. I, you never know what they want. You should be proud of yourself. Thanks. I think going up against Holly is going to be hard because she's more of a ballerina than I am. So, Maddie, you got something you can show us? Yes. All right. Thank you. You really know how to perform. Thank you. Some showmanship going on there. You could have been on Broadway, but you have to be a dancer. Throughout the whole piece, I kept wanting there to be a pause. I wanted there to be a time where you let your body finish and move all the way through something before jumping into the next movement. Uh, can you go up on Releve? Show me Releve, right? Go really high up on the Releve. Okay, those feet have more potential than what you're using right now. But you've got to work hard to do it. Maddie came out and Maddie was not all that confident. She takes things very seriously and very much to heart. Two and three, four and five, flex at six. We all know that Kendall has had training other places. So we've just kind of tweaked out all the bad habits that she's gathered along the way. Jeez. Kathy's gotten Kendall so many things going on. That's wonderful. How have the moms been at Candy Apples, Jill? The moms are great. That's probably why I have 300 students versus 20, because I don't have a problem with embracing new customers. Kathy, how yeah. many kids have you had here at Joffrey? How many have you had, Abby? Three. I highly doubt that you've had three people here. I honestly feel that the Abby Lee Miller gang think that they've got the market on any competition, any audition, anything that has to do with dance. They are nothing but trouble, and it was honestly fun just to get Abby's feathers ruffled. Good afternoon, everyone. We are ready for the dancers. All right, now if I could get number 247 over here, please. From fifth, fifth position, Tondu and close. Tondu and close. See, number 250 was popping her foot out and bringing it back. Oh, so sorry, that's your child. Kathy. Kathy, is that what you guys can say? You're not even supposed to be watching, aren't you? The teacher well, then stop you know that. your head in. I what? Didn't. I just turned what? around and what? looked for you. I don't see a sign that says no teachers allowed. It's just etiquette. No, no, no. no. You don't you know what? look in you on an audition, listen. or let alone a dance class. Take some attention out of the shoulders there. Lift up to the back of that neck. Stomach in, good. Work through that foot each time. That's all the bobby pins in your hair. Kathy, are you going to use them for later? Yep. Honey, but I you just... so want to have style, and oh, you don't. Kathy. I suggest you shut your mouth and walk away. Oh, from why? Are you going to beat me up? Kathy comes in, and she talks about my manners and my etiquette. And she cannot conduct herself like a human being. And I'm trying to sit there and ignore her, but my god, it's like needles on a chalkboard. Finally, I'm just like, ah! Uh, you don't even know me. I can read you like a book. That you are so full of Please be gone. Oh, nice language. I know. I That's what you always you. have to. No, you didn't. Up and over to the bar. Lengthen up out of that side. Keep those stomachs strong. Kathy, let's tone it down a notch. You're at the Joffrey Ballet. A little decorum, please. And we've got Abby, who's screaming. Quiet! Yet it's her voice that you hear. Newsflash! Newsflash! There's an audition News going flash. on right behind the door. Shush! I'm not the one that's always drunk and can't take care I'm of my kids. I'm not drunk kid. and I can take oh, care of everybody. Oh, but you've time. always got a Kathy. drink in your hand. You embarrass yourself every time you open your mouth. Pardon me one moment, please. Ladies. Thank We're you. having a ballet class in here. Thank you. 
If you don't respect me and you don't respect these girls, respect don't only talk the to me. art form. You, need to talk to her as you just well. got my focus, everybody. Please. I was beyond mortified. And I was just so mad that I let Kathy get the best of me. I had no intentions of that. Thank you all for coming in. We will let you know. Hello? Hi, is this Christy? Yes, it is. This is Davis Robertson from the Joffrey Ballet School. How are you doing? I'm well. How are you? I want to take the time to call you personally and let you know that uh, we want to offer Chloe a scholarship for the summer. She was at the top of our list. Oh, uh, thank in, you. In oh, my gosh, that's amazing. Thank you. I think Chloe is excited to have that opportunity, but I really think that Chloe is trying hard not to show it because the other little girls in the room wanted that as well, and she didn't want to hurt anybody else's feelings. Under our direction, uh, I really do believe that she has uh, got the potential to be just a beautiful ballerina, oh. and uh, we would like to assist in making that happen. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. You are very welcome. It's hard when your child doesn't get something that they want but that's also part of a dancer's life. It's tough. We'll be seeing you soon. All right, take care. You're being a brat. Joni, no, walk away from me. Please, uh, I want to organize. Get back here right now. Get back there. Now, get back here. Madison, get back here. Your phone is going away. I feel really upset that Chloe got a call from the Drawfrey Ballet School. I think I kind of deserve Stop to be it. on top. Stop it. Guess what? Five days. Ten days now. No. Ten days, Maddie can't have her phone. I know exactly how that little girl was feeling, and I know that she wants the Joffrey scholarship as much as anyone else, and I know she's thinking, my shot's out the window, it's all Chloe. Even though these girls are such good friends, they are really, really fierce competitors. Maddie? Oh Maddie, come here, I have to tell you something, now. One more, if you don't come back here in five seconds, it's gonna be 15 days. Maddie is really stressed out because she was disappointed, but I won't put up with a brownie kid. She just needs to reach deep and down inside and just, you know, be thankful for what she has and don't, you just can't worry what other people think of you.